good morning. I haven't really had time to update my vlog lately. Um, been really busy. I have a 93 year old mom with Parkinson's disease and so she lives three hours away. So I've been doing a lot of uh, caretaking lately. Um, actually, unfortunately, we've had to admit her to a nursing home. Oops, hold on. So we're dealing with the um, after effects of, of uh, this was a really a hurricane. It's Tropical Storm Alberto. Sorry, this is a little bit shaky. I'm trying to commute this morning. But anyway, what I was telling you about my mom, she fell back in January. This is the second really, really, really bad fall in two years. Um, she broke, last year she broke one side of her pelvis and her shoulder. And then this year she broke the other side of her pelvis. So um, she's had a bad year. And um, then recently she fell again she was cooking. Fortunately, that could have been a lot worse. My my uh, brother had been staying with her um, to help her out, and he ran to the store, got back home. All the fire alarms are going off, smoke detectors, you know. And um, so she had been in the kitchen cooking, and. I don't know what she did, but she turned around and slipped for some reason and, and fell. And so when he got back, the oven door was open and smoke was filled the apartment and she was on the floor. So that was, it was really scary for all of us that what could have, have happened in that situation. But at any rate, uh, the doctor recommended she go in the nursing home, um, if not permanently, at least for a while, because she is so independent, and she's from that generation. She was born in 1925, and those are some strong people, I'm telling you, um, that generation is. But anyway, I, I tell you all that about my mom, not to make you feel sad. Um, because she actually isn't sad at all. I was worried to death when we when we knew we were going to have to admit her because I was so afraid that it would be devastating to her. Um, but actually, she loves it. She's such a social person. And they have all kinds of social activities there. And... Um, she has Parkinson's disease. I'm, I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but that that's what's been causing her to fall so much in addition to just normal aging process. But also her Parkinson's dementia has kicked in just a little. I keep having to, every time I hit a really bad bump, having to adjust that. But she thinks that she works at the nursing home. You know, she worked all her life. And so she's just as happy as she can be. She told my brother this is the most fun job she's ever had. Uh, you get three meals a day for free. You get to live there. She's never had a job like that. So she's very, very happy to be there. And that really, really helps. You have no idea. Uh, we were all just so upset. She wouldn't come and live with any of the girls. We all live away, um, except for my one sister, Kathy, who lives there in town. And um, Kathy lives on her own. She's been blind since birth, but she's very, very independent. And um, she's my only sister that lives in that area. I'm really sorry about this camera. Probably should just remake this whole video, but I'm having to grab a chance while I can. Um, life's been busy. We all have responsibilities. You guys know how all that goes. You have to grab a, a chance to make a video when you can. And um, I did this from some encouragement from Claudie being Claudie. I 
started thinking, you know, really, I could just make one on my commute. I'm going to commute to work anyway, so, um, and Andrea from Andrea's Life does that all the time, although she must have a better setup than I do because I can't keep my camera standing up. So, anyway, getting off the interstate, I'll go the back way with some red lights and that'll help a lot. But anyway, I wanted to tell you what I've been watching lately. Um, I think everybody kind of has this travel dream. You know, one day I'm going to retire and I'm going to travel. And then you start realizing how much you're really going to make in retirement. <laughs> so what I've been doing since I can't travel is I found a, a new uh, YouTuber and she actually ditched the corporate life, bought an RV, and she calls herself a digital nomad because she does uh, work that she can actually do as long as she has an internet connection. And so she's traveling around the United States and the name of her channel, which I'll link in the description, is Creativity RV. So, give her a look-see if you get the chance. Um, I really enjoy her videos. And uh, another one that really amazed me, um, I can't think of it now. Oh yeah, Cheap RV Living. Um, the guy's name is Bob, and he interviews people that are living in their RVs or um, sometimes in their car or in their van, but they're doing this so that they can travel uh, and so that they can live on such a small income. A lot of them are on Social Security, and that's it, and so they can't afford an apartment or if they have an apartment they can't afford food or medication so they chose to do this and you know what really surprised me none of them are like poor me poor me they love it they feel like they're free they've, they've broken away from all that debt and so I've really enjoyed watching watching these videos and what I do is, if I'm feeling really, really stressed, I'll watch some of these RV videos where people are traveling and seeing things. And um, Carolyn's RV is another one. And she not only shows the great things about it, but she shows some of the realities. And so does Creativity RV. They tell you things you have to think about uh, before you just quit your job and travel around in an RV. There's a lot to think about. But anyway, I enjoyed those and I just wanted to share that with you. Um, if you're ever feeling stressed and you'd like to see some type of video that's calming, those are some really good ones to watch. So I'm almost to work. So, I'll, you know, I'll have to rush into the building and work for the man. But anyway, that's okay. It pays the bills. Um, it helps me help my family. So I enjoy finally talking to you again. And uh, while I'm at a red light, I can actually look at you. And I hope that um, you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll check out some of those that I'm listing in the description. And until we meet again. Happy travels.